Hello and welcome to part three of my full-size proton pack build. If you're joining us as a continuing viewer, welcome back. And if you're a new viewer, make sure you check out the last two parts where we get these things kind of set up so that we can then start assembling like we'll see in the video here today. Everything's gonna start looking pretty excellent as we move forward through this video. We're starting to get things put on the pack. It's really gonna start to take shape at this point. So I'm excited to show you how I did things and what I have as my end result. So hopefully uh, you'll stick around to the end to see what it looks like. So the first thing that I got put together was my ion arm. Just got all the pieces bolted onto that and made that little sub assembly there. Holes are already pre-drilled on the back. There are two uh, pretty big roofing screws that come with the uh, Ben of Kent kit and I just use that to secure the arm onto the uh, pack shell from the reverse side. You can see it put on there. Some of the other things I tossed on just to kind of get a feel for things, the uh, booster arm frame and the uh, upper ribbon cable clamp just to get a feel for how that's all set up. And then of course we've got the gun hook on there as well. And then as we move down here, the bottom part of the ribbon cable clamp. And then the last thing you'll see on here is gonna be the spot where the end filter goes. Um, that got bolted on, didn't drill any holes or anything like that, just basically wanted to uh, leave myself some room for uh, a possible smoke kit in the future, so I didn't really get too crazy with cutting anything up or securing anything uh, permanently down on that part of the pack. For the booster tube, I used two machine screws from the back side to drill basically straight into the aluminum, and then I used this uh, JB Weld steel stick to create my fake weld between the actual pack itself and uh, the booster tube is pretty easy. Just make like a little worm kind of shape, fill that in that little crack area there, and then I used a paper clip to make that uh, half circle kind of weld indent all around the uh, length of it, shaping it with my fingers kind of as I went. You can see it turns out pretty good there. Uh, once you get some paint on it, it really starts to look you know, like a genuine weld. Maybe not the best weld, but it looks pretty convincing. On the inside, I have a little bit of a mesh screen to fill in those holes there. So eventually that'll have some space for uh, things to blow out of there smoke wise. Um, notice I don't have any kind of weld or anything around the edge, the uh, pack shell and the actual end filter itself. They're a nice snug fit. And then my reference images as well did not show a weld there, uh, which some people tend to do, but I did not because it didn't fall along with my reference pictures. Um, label wise here, Everything is uh, just the included labels on the uh, Ben of Kent kit. Um, probably in the future here, some of these I'll swap out uh, with some of the metallic labels, like uh, the one that goes in the bumper here, for example. I'll probably swap that out at some point for the metallic one. Um, attaching everything else as far as the cables and the, the hoses and everything, really it's just you know a lot of uh, holes that are the correct size and then just cutting the uh, hoses to length and just putting them into the holes. Um, hardware wise, bolting things together, um, I tried to stick with the uh, parts that Ben included as much as I could in cases where he didn't have something specific for it. Um, you know, I have a bunch of hardware in my garage and I just kind of went with what I had that worked, but for the most part everything uh, is just drilled in or bolted in from the back side of the shell with some kind of hardware. Nothing is uh, glued on here. So this stage here, it's pretty much together for the most part. Uh, just need some lenses in there for the power cell and the cyclotron, and then uh, painting and mounting everything for the motherboard and the Alice frame. Uh, but for the most part, this stage, it's uh, set and ready to go for the final pass of weathering, which we'll see here in uh, just a second. Um, I use basically just some tile grout in an old sock, and I just kind of smack the sock with my other hand and it makes a nice little fine cloud of uh, particles that'll cover the pack pretty realistically and then just give it like a very quick uh you know kind of a rushed wipe down um and it'll stick in those little nooks and crannies bring out a lot of that texture in there and it gives it a really nice uh, kind of worn and well used look um, notice i don't have any silver sharpie or anything like that with the scratches i'm gonna let that stuff happen over time as i take the pack out and about to events
Well, that about does it for this video here, gang. Uh, do me a favor, and uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and uh, give my group a follow on our various social media platforms. Um, you can see those here if you're uh, into Ghostbusters and the, uh, the fan aspect of Ghostbusters, check us out. We're always up to something interesting. Uh, we'll have some more videos here upcoming. Uh, I'll probably do a short one on the Neutrona wand. Uh, I unfortunately was not able to take as many pictures of that as I would have liked, or videos I should say. Uh, there are a good number of pictures, so we'll get something thrown together for that. And then uh, once I get my electronics together, we'll have a video for that as well. So until next time, I'm B. Karn. Thanks for watching.